Gundogan back to Manchester City. Here's all the news from today, including these boots potentially getting re-released. That's an immediate pickup. But into the transfer news, Sporting wants to sign Vitor Roque for around 30 million euros. Manchester United are still in talks for Ugarte, but apparently it would be on loan. And then Wolves are the latest club to want Ramsdale on loan. Arsenal have lined up Juan Garcia from Espanyol as his replacement. And then Nottingham Forest have apparently bid 25 million pounds for Eddie Nketiah, but it's been rejected. Now, Brighton are really going off in this transfer window. They have officially announced the signing of Ruder from Leeds. Fulham have agreed a deal for Sander Burge. Juve looks like they completed the signing of Kalulu from AC Milan. As for Gundogan, I didn't expect it at the beginning of summer, but it's likely he's going to leave Barcelona. They want to get his wages off the books, and now Manchester City are interested in bringing him back. As an Arsenal fan, I do not want that to happen. Joao Felix joining Chelsea, though, does mean Conor Gallagher will finally get his move to Atletico Madrid. Now, honestly, it's getting a little annoying talking about how much Chelsea are spending, but this past weekend, we did see see the first Premier League match that was worth 1 billion pounds in transfer fees. The most expensive player for Manchester City was Guardiola, while for Chelsea it was Fernandez. Anyways, it feels like we just started club football, but Argentina announced their squad for the World Cup qualifiers. Messi wasn't included due to injury. You can pause if you want to read it. Now, I don't know if you saw this, but Fermin Lopez posted a screenshot on his Instagram of him apparently watching a pirated stream of the Barca match. Not a smart idea. 